strongest terms the apartheid policies um, applied by Israel and occupied territories. The slaughter of innocent Palestinian people by multiple time shooting. In it's policy of apartheid in the occupied territories. And executions of civilians by Israel. We are surprised to learn that this nomination has been postponed following a letter sent by a civil society organization that is known for its allegiance. The, the, uh, they are tied to secret service, Israeli secret, secret, Israeli secret service, and this uh, would be a flagrant violation of the regulations of this uh, committee. This would have an impact on the action of the council and its credibility. We reiterate that there must be a new rapporteur named according to the established procedures during this session. We will not accept that this nomination be delayed to the next session. I give the floor to the distinguished representative of United Nations Watch. Thank you, Mr. President. UN Watch remains unwavering in our pursuit of a just and lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians for all peoples in the region to live side by side in peace and security with human rights for all. We support the legitimate rights of both Palestinians and Israelis. We regret, therefore, to see that today's report and the statements we just heard effectively deny that Israelis have any human rights at all. We see a complete denial of the wave of catastrophic Palestinian stabbings, car attacks, and shootings that over six months now have killed, injured, and terrorized civilians across Israel. If all human beings are equal, as guaranteed under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Why is there no mention of more than 200 separate stabbing attacks, 83 shootings, 42 car ramming attacks? Why is there no mention, for example, that on January 18th, south of Jerusalem, a 30-year-old pregnant woman was stabbed and wounded by a 15-year-old Palestinian? Why no mention of 38-year-old Daphna Meir, a mother of six who was stabbed to death outside her home in the South Hebron Hills? Here, too, the assailant was only 15 years old. Why is there no examining of the incitement to hatred and murder that is brainwashing children into violence? Why do we have an analysis of root causes that doesn't go into this jihadist ideology? Why no mention of those who despicably question Israel's right to exist? No mention that Iran just test-fired missiles which could be used to carry nuclear warheads in violation of Security Council Resolution 2231 and that on the missiles were the words, wipe Israel off we the have face a of the point earth. Of order request. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to remind to this August Council through you that this well-known NGO is speaking out of agenda of item uh, 7. Thank you. In regard to the mandate, finally, the distinguished Palestinian representative made reference to the report of UN Watch, which he attributes to delaying the appointment of a rapporteur. In our report, we note that under Resolution 5.1 and 1621, the criteria of, quote, impartiality and objectivity are of paramount importance when selecting mandate holders. We note that the distinguished Palestinian representative, rather than address any of the merits of our report, chose ad hominem slander. We think that speaks for itself. I thank you, Mr. President.